Hello YouTube, this is YouTube user SeanKey91. Today I have another um, uh, iPad themed video where I'm going to show you a little bit of a hack or modification, if you, well, whatever you want to call it, uh, using my Apple iPad over here. Now I should tell you before even starting this video, uh, your iPad needs to be, a be jailbroken. Uh, today is the 24th of October 2010. There are two extremely useful tools out there on the internet. One is called Green Poison. Another one is called Lime Rain. I've used Lime Rain to uh, to jailbreak into my iPad, and I can tell you that in my experiences, that the best uh, the best way to jailbreak your iPad really has been using the Lime Rain utility. It's a lot less steps. Uh, Green Poison has all these timers which are counting down, giving you how long you have to hold buttons for. Lime Rain is extremely straightforward and extremely easy to use. Uh, and uh, I would definitely uh, definitely recommend that if you're looking to unlock the full power of a device that you paid over five hundred dollars for, you know, Green Poison or Lime Rain is definitely uh, a great uh, a great piece of software to consider. But in any case, this video is not about jailbreaking, though. It is about an application that could be achieved only after jailbreaking. This is going to be uh, for an application called Display Out, which I'm going to show you today in conjunction with my system over here. So what I have over here is my iPad and I have a regular Samsung display which right now is just connected to a Mac Mini. Now I should show you though that I have this Belkin terminal back here which effectively allows me to connect uh, two VGA sources into one common, uh, common monitor using this uh, switch over here. So basically what happens is, is that this switch has a master uh, audio, mouse, VGA, keyboard, and uh, and this last item over here, which I'll tell you in a second. And effectively, what this allows me to do is is that this actually branches off into two separate cables. It would be difficult for me to show you right now, but it allows me to connect two VGA sources into my monitor. And what this last little bit over here is, it's actually a switch down here. When I click this switch, it changes the monitor to a different VGA channel. So here I'm on my Mac screen, which should come back any second now, and then I'm switching over to another VGA channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to show you the other end of one of the, uh, the uh, branches of that Belkin switch over here, which is Apple's VGA cable. I bought this VGA cable before I even knew about Display Out, which is the program that I'm going to be showing you today. Um, and I could tell you that I, it was difficult to find a use for this cable because any video that I had wanted to play off of my display over here, I just played off of my Mac, and I didn't need, you know, a special thirty-five dollar cable. I, you know, it's it's marketed a little bit, a little bit of an interesting way, which I don't necessarily agree with. But in any case, let's get to the goods. I'm going to open up my iPad over here. I'm just going to pan away for a second to punch in my password. Okay, and as you can see, I'm now on my iPad screen. I have all my icons with all my programs. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in the VGA cable to the iPad. Okay, now as you can see, nothing special has happened on the iPad screen and nothing special has happened up here yet but what I'm simply gonna do is is I'm gonna click this switch from the Belkin uh, terminal and on my screen now I actually have my iPad screen and it's extremely it's extremely fluid extremely easy to use and as you can see I'm gonna try to get both the iPad and the screen in there whatever I do on my iPad screen actually mirrors over to my VGA display now what a lot of people are going to be probably asking is like oh what's the uh, what would be the application for such a such a piece of software well you know if you're anything like me I enjoy sometimes you know looking at things on a bigger screen I know that I'm using this mostly to read a lot of PDFs and to you know to enjoy Safari I'll just show you a little example over here I boot into Safari and be you know, it's just such a different web experience when you're able to control, you know, the screen with your hands with this very, very fluid touch interface, you know, with zoom and flicks and everything like that. It's just, it's taking the simplicity of the iPad and it's putting it out onto a VGA display. Now, another question you might ask is, you know, 
how does this thing like handle video? Is there any, any delay? I'm going to show you a graphics intensive application over here. It's a little thing called Need for Speed Shift. Okay, and watch the flu fluid uh, picture. As you can see, the picture is is absolutely amazing. You know, the the iPad screen is amazing to begin with, and it's now really it really just puts it onto a bigger screen. So you know, another main application for you know such a for such a device is definitely to uh, is definitely to watch video, to play these games, these beautiful iPad games, just on a much bigger, nicer screen. I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna play over here. I just want to show you some uh, some video. You can see over here. You're gonna see a a 3D pan of the cars, and you know you can see that the the graphics really do keep up very nicely. All right, I'm just gonna quit out of here. If you have any questions about display out or how to get it, you could send me a private message or alternatively, you know, Google was a great source for me to figure out how to do this. Um, so if you go onto Google and simply punch in, uh, you know, display out, uh, iPad, uh, accompanied by like uh, Cydia or Jailbreak or something like that, uh, then uh, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely tell you that that's probably going to be your best bet. All right. In any case, this has been Sean Key 91 and I'll see you in the next video.